Well, of course it is May, and this is often a great time to start planning your Nebraska road trip. I know Evan with the zoo is just saying he wishes he could hit the road and head up to Bob's Bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so one area that is worth seeing is the Pine Ridge region in Northwest Nebraska. In this segment, we hear from the director of Northwest Nebraska Tourism on what to see there. We are in Shadron. We are in the 308 area code and uh, we are learning more about some of the tourism activities that you can find here in Dawes and Sioux counties. And joining me now with more on this is Carrie Ramp. And Carrie, it's good to see you today. Hello, thanks for having us. And you are the tourism director. Yes, for Northwest Nebraska, which is uh, the combination of those two counties, we promote them together as a region. So 308? 308, yeah. yeah. There's a lot to do out here in the 308. It sometimes gets overlooked, but um, here, especially in the Northwest corner, we have lots of lots of exciting things that we like to talk about. What are some of the highlights maybe that you like to promote? Yeah, so of course, you know, we're big on outdoor recreation out here. We have two state parks, I think eight wildlife management areas. We've got Toadstool Geologic Park, National Forest Service and Grasslands. So hiking, biking, hunting, fishing, you know, all of those fun outdoor recreation things. You can enjoy them out here. The trails aren't crowded. You know, you're gonna go to a lake or a stream to fish. It's not gonna be overpopulated with other people trying to do the same thing. So that's one of the big things we like to promote. But, you know, we're also really at the forefront of frontier history. We have a lot of Native American and military history, particularly over at Fort Robinson State Park. So history buffs love to come out here and really dive deep into that. You mentioned that there's two state parks, so Fort Robinson is one. Yes. And Shadron State Shadron Park. Shadron State Park is the first ever state park in Nebraska. It turned 100 years old in 2021. It was established in 1921. Um, and it's a great little state park, got a lot of activities. It's surrounded by National Forest Service land. So a lot of, again, hiking, mountain biking, horseback riding. Um, they have one of the best disc golf courses in the state, um, really challenging. Uh, archery and and pellet gun range so lots of things or just set up the camper and kick back by the fire if that's more your speed. What else is going on in this area that people might want to know? Yeah so we've got um, a lot of different things going on in terms of art right now. We're applying for a creative district designation through the Nebraska Arts Council um, with Shatteron State College and all of the things going on with Art Alley and downtown with some of the other initiatives and businesses that we have. There's a kind of a budding creative community. Um, it's kind of been under the radar for a lot of the time and we're trying to bring that more to the forefront. Of course, we have Post Playhouse over at Fort Robinson, which is Summerstock Theater. Um, so a lot of things like that more culturally um, that have kind of been a hidden gem. Um, we're trying to rise that to the top and let people know about it. It's a great place to come out. Again, there's not a lot of population out here um, and you can get out and enjoy whatever it is, whether it's the history, the outdoors, the arts, you can enjoy it all. Um, in a really relaxed way and really soak it in. Thank you for encouraging us to come out to this part of the state. Really a nice place and thank you very much. Yeah.